All right, guys, we are going to do the rear brakes on a Nissan Murano. Pads are getting low. So uh, I'll put the pads in the description below. Just click the link. 21 millimeters. Take these nuts out. Now, obviously, you got to jack the car up. You may use a regular jack, whatever. We're going to take this top one out. That's a uh, 14 millimeter. I've already broken it free and done it. Pop it out. And then just swing that down. Now you can pop your pads straight on out. No problem at all. And we'll get the new ones. Now this bad, we'll have them turned. Make it nice and fun. So it gets rid of the deep drag in. But this one's in good shape. Doesn't need to be. It's got no glue. It's nice and smooth. Can't feel anything with a fingernail or nothing. So that's good. Alright, so uh, we're going to go ahead and take these out of the box. Um, I, I don't ever change the clips unless the old ones are bad. These ones are good. They're not broken or anything. So we're not even going to mess with them. We're going to get these pads prepped though. So we're going to get these uh, all lined up. To the sounders, to that the sounders, and over. One, one of the sounders on, on each side of the car. And then Molly brake lube. We're going to put this all over the back of these just to keep them nice and quiet. Had to roll it up and squeeze more out. Wipe nice and even over the metal part. That's a major. So the two without the sounders have the pins. Two with the sounders don't have the pins in the middle. So the two with the sounders have pins on the outside. This one does not. That's so you know where to put them on the caliper. All right, let me go wipe my hands off. So you'll look at the old ones, you can see the one with the sounder has the circle. That's where it went. This one's shaped like that. That's where it went. All right? We're gonna use the one without the sounder right now. Slap it in here, and we're gonna get. Uh, you can use um, big channel locks. Just squeeze this back, you know, like this. And I'm just gonna squeeze them in all the way down. Literally did that with one hand. All the way down, boom, till it stops. Just like that. No big deal. Get it out of the way. Don't worry about that. It's all right. As long as it isn't going to get pinched in this, it'll be fine. And it's going to be fine. All right. So we're going to grab one with a sounder. And we're going to put it on the outside. Or the inside, I mean. And then the clips. Mm, I need both hands. So it's all the way against the rotor. Same with this side. We get it in. It's hard to do with one hand. But all the way in until it's against the rotor. Like that. We're just going to spin this back up like so. Grab our pin. Oh, make sure that rubber boot's not messed up. Like so. 
Put a pin in. And then that's 9 16 We're going to tighten that back down. And then obviously when you're done tighten that down, the wheel goes back on. When you get back in your car after doing both brakes, you're going to have to pump your brakes a couple of times. You don't have to bleed them because you didn't open and get any air into the system. So you pump your brakes a couple times, you'll feel them sink all the way down. After two times, it'll get hard. You're ready to go. All right, guys, this helped you out in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Um, I'll put uh, the brake pads in the description. Um, anything else you need, just uh, message me. And I'll put it in the description, and I'll answer your messages. I try to answer everybody's messages. All right, thumbs up. Subscribe. Peace.